Kung gusto niyo pong matunghayan ang mga iba pang mga balita tungkol sa mga big star, lalo na ito si Victoria Davi, ito po talaga ay nagkikritisize. No? Uh, babasahin ko lang po yung open letter sa kanya. Now, ito po, www.moviestarmag.net. Okay. So, ito na yung uh, open letter kay Victoria Davi. No? Splendidly yours. Yan. Dear Miss Nora, Hello, I watch your film, Justicia, an entry to this film, to this year's Cinemalaya Film Festival. Honestly, I just had to watch it because my editor has this brilliant and interesting idea of someone like me, someone who spent most of her time in Europe, particularly England and Italy, writing about film. Uh, Writing about a film like Justicia and about an actress like you. I'm familiar with your body work. You're quite known in a little art houses where they show Asia's greatest masterpiece that includes some of your films, notably Himala, Mr. Lino Broca, Lino Brocas and Mr. Ismael Bern, Bernal's. You have starred in unforgettable classic, but sadly, Hostitia will never be included among the best of the best. Naku, na ano siya, masyado siyang hinuhusgahan ni ng sumunod na to, no, si Victoria. Heck, it will never be standing all among the media core. Miss Nora, you are too big for this film where everything seems stag and rehearsed. In short, It tries so hard to make a statement by painting a real world populated by prostitutes, human traffickers, drug pusher, drug user, murderer, corruption, public official, and the most worst of all people, sick with apathy. Uh, please ask your director, Mr. Joel Lamangan, and the writer, Mr. Ricky Lee, why they had to squeeze in all those elements in a film of two hours in the process every minute no every second on screen is filled with graphic image of people doing things that will guarantee them eternal dam damnation damnation and what is this scene where people who are so apathetic to a thing happening that stabbing someone is as okay as having palatio on the street damn I don't care if it's a dream sequence or just a point Pointless vision, but I tell you, it's something I wasn't able to watch without shifting on my seat. What do Filipinos call that? O A O A na O A. Ano ba sabi mo dito? Hindi naman siguro direct. Nilalait ng gusto. Oh, oh, di ba? During the character who played is a palm mount, palm mounted bitch who worked for a lady boss, Rosanna Roses who works for a group of big time human traffickers that was so that was not traced of a Bona or an Elsa or even a Magnolia. What's Magnolia? Sinora din ba to? Oh, si Magnolia direct. Okay. No trace of the characters who who have so effortlessly mastered effortlessly mastered playing to get out of that stereotype is a good step. What's a bad step is to in be in a movie that packed with point poniness and with content ano, contrived element that eventually fell flat on its face. It was so difficult to watch on the screen, Miss Nora. No, don't get me wrong. You were great acting wise. Your famous eye pierced us viewers like never before. Maybe the ugliness of the environment and the ugliness of the people, ang haba ng sulat niya, that surround your added to already be ugly bearing. Your black skin, the wrinkles, the unkempt hair, the echo bag, the sandals with white socks and the outfit were all ugly. And that goes until the very end when there's already a reversal of fortune when you have already leveled up in the hier hierarchy of evilness. You're still ugly, perhaps, uglier. That's why I don't feel an iot of compassion for you. Even in the closing scene where you laugh in a slow-mo after another character, a crook lawyer played by Rocco Nasino, whispered something tragic in your ear. 
Honestly, I wanted to lull with you. I mean with Bering. Wow. That was one stressful piece of article to write. I think I will have my weekly pay shell. Maybe you need one too. Miss Nora, erase that definitely need a facial to <laughs> Splendidly yours. Victoria the V. Sinasabi ba